After the break, check out a great way to...
collaboration between the two generations of craftsmen. So traditional craftsman Mr. Chang Fun, he crafted this traditional lion head using the, the traditional bamboo crafting and paper mache techniques. Contemporary artisan Gino Neko also employed the same techniques, creating the six modular pieces of the tail. And also Gino has incorporated a new and innovative element, which is water marbling. So she put um, paint into a water, a water tank and then by putting paper onto it, it soaks up all the paints and she also um, put layers and layers of papers and cloths onto the skeleton. At the end, all these pieces are assembling together and uh, each and every pieces of the innovative design here, it could be a decorative lighting and also a wearable fashion piece. Apart from the work that you just introduced, are there any others that are your personal favorites? It has to be the one from Lam Dun Shan Ming. So he created nine pieces of ceramic and Canton porcelain paintings using the Chinese word feng, wind, with nine brush strokes of the character. And each and every piece of the work uh, represents from the brush stroke and also represents multifaceted shapes and forms of the wind. All right, tell us about another one of your favorites. It has to be the one made by Panky Copperware, the Look Brothers. They are over 80 years old. And then together with a contemporary artisan, Anthony So. Anthony has employed the traditional metal fogging and enameling techniques to pay tribute and celebrate the traditional crafts. So the teapot used to be very popular item in the 50s and the 60s in the Chinese restaurant where the visitors came to have yum cha. Mm -hmm. So in the old days, the waiter poured hot water from this giant copper teapot into the teacups for uh, visitors. That's, That's right. So, but then these days you don't really see these teapots mm -hmm. anymore. So we would like to bring this back to our daily lives. Bamboo plays a huge part in Chinese culture, and the bamboo steamer is probably one of the most iconic features from a local tea house experience. Through the construction and reinterpretation of the traditional steamer, the designer has created a table side lighting and a bamboo chandelier. Apart from the steamer, the bamboo birdcage is another signature piece. Extracting from the architectural elements of birdcage, the table is built without any glue nor nails and demonstrates an amazing combination between the traditional and contemporary techniques. Sharing dim sum among family members remains a fond memory and a favorite pastime for many of us. Other than the delicious food and free flow of tea, the craftsmanship that goes behind each handcrafted porcelain piece is also captivating. Using the painting techniques of Guangchai, the designers have transformed the traditional Cantonese craft into camping fashion, featuring a ready-to-wear outfit camping gear, and ceramic ware that combines craftsmanship with utility. There were so many inspiring pieces at this exhibition, but the one that held a special place in my heart were the nine plates incorporating the brush strokes from the word wind. Why? Well, it wasn't just the aesthetics of the piece, it's also what it represents. I found out from Penny that the artist who produced it is only in his early 20s but he's already been at his craft for eight years. Goes to show that being an artist and creating great artwork takes patience and dedication. When it comes to preserving cultural heritage, keeping an open mind is always the key to welcoming new ideas and appreciating the traditional crafts in our daily That's all the time we have for this week's episode. If you want to find out more about what we have introduced, remember to log on to our website. Are you ready to take the next step in our sweet journey? In the coming weeks, continue to relish the beautiful things in life. Besides indulging in foods that make you feel good, we will share some expert tricks on finding your signature scent. Get yourself moving and train your body to meet the Olympic standard. Also, we will see what it takes to earn a Michelin star. Join us again next time!